In this video, we'll be going through the different firmware options available for the ANX2 AB DH Rio Gateway. This is intended as a supplement for our lineup of product training videos that walk you through the full configuration process. The gateway is designed to allow customers to initiate a phased migration approach to replacing or upgrading legacy remote I.O. PLCs, HMIs, drives, or flex I.O. adapters. This is done by selecting the corresponding firmware for your ANX2 during the initial configuration. There are many different firmware types available, and they are all contained on the micro SD card that comes with the ANX2 module. We'll quickly go over each of them and what applications they're intended for. We'll start with the easiest ones. The ANX2 Rio EIP SCN firmware is intended specifically to function as a FlexIO scanner. This mode allows PLCs on remote I.O. to connect to and control 1794 AENT Ethernet IP Flex adapters so that you can replace your old I.O. with newer Ethernet IP-based Flex I.O. This is probably the sole application that you would ever use this firmware for. Next, we have the ANX2 AB HMI. This is another mode intended for just one thing. That would be upgrading Rio panel views to panel view plus 6 or 7 on Ethernet IP. So this allows you to add the latest panel view HMIs to your Rio network. This should only be used for situations where you're integrating HMIs over Ethernet IP to a Rio network. If you want to add HMIs to a Data Highway Plus network, you would need to use the next firmware on our list. The ANX2 ABDHP firmware. You will use this firmware for all Ethernet IP to Data Highway Plus applications. Typically, you would use it to integrate new Ethernet IP panel views with DHP, PLC5s, or SLCs. You can also monitor and program a PLC5 or a SLIC on DHP via RSLogix 5000 or use some SCADA systems to control or monitor Data Highway Plus controllers. It's also possible to message between a Rockwell processor on Ethernet IP and a SLIC on Data Highway Plus. Again, any application that involves interfacing with devices on DHP would require this firmware. ANX2 AB DRV04 is intended primarily for connecting PLCs on Rio to PowerFlex drives over Ethernet IP. It's possible to use other drives on Ethernet IP, but PowerFlex drives are the model. This firmware can also be used if you're migrating from an old Rio robot to a new Ethernet IP based robot. Next up, we have the ANX2 AB Scan or Remote IO Scanner. This mode allows users to replace their old Rio based PLC with a Control Logix or Compact Logix without having to replace their existing remote I.O. It also can be used for situations where you want to use a new Ethernet IP PLC to control a Rio based robot. In that way, it's sort of the mirror opposite of the ABDRV4 firmware mode. Finally, we have the ANX2 AB ADPT the Remote I.O. Adapter Mode, primarily used for messaging between PLCs on Rio and PLCs on Ethernet IP. In this mode, the ANX2 is a slave on both ends, appearing to the PLCs as a remote rack. And that is a quick overview of the different firmware modes available for the ANX2 ABDH Rio. We hope you found it helpful. Now, there are a few other quick tips for using the ANX2. When you use the web-based interface to configure the gateway with a new firmware mode and go through the reboot process, you'll need to be sure to clear your browser history in order to see the new firmware type reflected in your browser window. Next, if you need to find out the firmware version that you're using, you can just hold your mouse cursor over the browser tab with the ANX2 web page, and the version number will be displayed as part of the name for that web page. Finally, if you find you're unable to establish communication with the ANX2 module, you should try swapping the positive and negative wires on the communication line. Different vendors have them positioned differently. So if you have any questions or would like more information, contact our technical support. Thank you for watching.